Hey YouTubers, it's Tony here from We Try Anything, the channel likes to try anything, so you don't have to. Today's video, we're going to be looking at a watch from the Casio collection, with this one being the Casio WS2100H, which has a module number of 3466. This is one of the first Casios to be featured on the channel that has step tracking built in, as you can see here, which we'll be looking at later on in the video. As has become tradition with the WeTronithin channel, we'll be looking around the Casio WS2100H, highlighting some of the materials used, the design of the watch, and mentioning some of the sizes along the way. We'll then go through some of the functions that this watch has to offer, pop it on our wrist, and say it's like to the wear. There will be links to the instructions of this watch in the description box below, and an Amazon affiliate link if you wish to find out more about this very watch. To start things off, this Casio WS2100 has been acquired from eBay for the main reason that I like to give an insight as to how these watches wear over time. Plus, sometimes you're quite lucky, you can be quite lucky that they can work out a little bit cheaper than the retail. But at, in this instance, I think I saved about four or five pounds because at the time of recording, um, Casio are doing these watches for about £20. I think they've got a sale on or something like that, but they are currently out of stock. But you can get these watches quite cheap, really, sometimes, but they will probably jump back up to, I think, the £30, £40 pound mark. The Casio WS2100 is also available in a few different colorways that I am showing here. The one I have featured in this video, just for reference, is the Casio WS2100H8AV, which has the green highlights, as you can see. And there is two other models, um, which again, I am showing you on this photo, which uh, you can see, get the same watch, which has um, red highlights. And you can also get one, which has a just silver case with blue highlights, and I believe a black strap. So with all that out of the way, let's take a closer look at the Casio WS2100H that we have featured here. First of all, let's talk about the size of the watch so you can see if this watch is for you and your wrist. The width of the case is just under 50 millimeters from the left bank of pushers to the right bank of pushers. And talking about the pushers on this watch, it features two on the left, which you can see here, which is a nice textured uh, element to them, and one on the right, and then you've got a blank there just to obviously give this watch some balance, really. And then you also have two on the front here, as you can see, just for start, stop, and lap reset. Look to look, or top to bottom, you are looking at, again, around 50 millimeters, which I have to admit, maybe on the larger side what is more suitable for some people but i can only think that the size of this watch is to accommodate the three axis acceleration sensor that is built in to allow in for this watch to track your steps now i will pop it on my six and a half inch wrist later on in the video so you can see how it fits and i can tell you more about how this watch wears Depth wise, you are looking at about 14 to 15 millimeters approximately, which is due to the raised parts of the dial facing part of the case. It's not the smallest of watches and it is a watch that does have a purpose. And I do, as I've mentioned, I do believe some of the sizing is down to that the sensor array that is built into the module of this watch. Moving on to the materials, they are the same type of materials that you would expect from a Casio at the affordable end of the spectrum, with the main case being made up of what would be a satin grey resin plastic, which is prone to some scratches, as you can see here, but does allow for the watch to be a little bit more lighter at about 47 grams, while still having that rugged element to it. In a logger width where the strap meets the case, as you can see here, I've measured approximately 90 millimeters wide. And talking of the straps, they are again, as you would come to expect with them being from Casio, being made up of resin. But the difference with this watch in particular is that they are gray. Uh, normally uh, what you get from Casio, or you know, what you tend to get is obviously black resin with the black case. But this one, it, it is gray. So it's got that nice, it's got a slight unique look to it really I find and also the, the quality of the resin it's not too bad uh, quite malleable soft it's got like a soft front to it and on the inner you know, you've got obviously these uh, elements here that uh, allow for it to grip onto the wrist and you do have one of those what Casio sometimes have on their wrist which is like a ribbon effect um, which do allow for the watch to grip into your wrist also as just to go on about the strap it does this strap retainer or strap stay or whatever you want to call it it is in the gray as well which is a nice added look to it but the only thing is the buckle is a black or pin and buckle is black plastic and it is unbranded so you can't see any kind of cat mention of casio you do see china on there though but yeah again you know it does it does 
it, it does have that nice look to it i've got to say i do like the look of this air watch and it is a, a move away from the usual black resin that you do tend to see on casio watches at this price point now let's move to the back of the casio ws 2100h and as you can see the usual stainless steel affair and it does have four phillips style screws allowing you ease of access to what would be the module and change in the battery now talking about the battery the battery in this watch lasts from for up to about three years from new now again going back to the back of the case you can see that it is a stainless steel back and um, the module number and obviously uh, the model number but it does mention the water resistance which in this case is 10 bar or what would be a hundred meters and this watch obviously it's quartz powered and it has an accuracy of plus and minus 30 seconds per month now let's move on to the front of the watch first of all the what will be known as the dial window now the dial window is flat as you can see here it's not the sometimes they do what, what will be a, a dome and stuff like that but this one is flat and it is protected or semi protected by these raised elements here that you can see on the front of the case and um, it is an acrylic crystal or a resin acrylic crystal now these materials do attract scratches or micro abrasions as such and i can demonstrate it a bit more on this watch here which is the f105 and i do tend to wear this a bit more daily now because uh, it's quite a nice little watch to wear and as you can see there is loads on there but you know it's part of the character really i mean you can use poly watch um, and a little bit of time and a little bit of what's known as elbow grease or a bit of hard work and they will go it will rub it away um but you know, I mean, don't let it put you off because at the end of the day, as I say, you can eradicate it with Poly Watch, which I've linked to in the description box below. But again, you know, these watches, you've got to remember, they are at a price point where they don't attract more what would be harder wearing crystals. So just bear that in mind, really. Now, moving on to the digital display, I have got to say, it is the one thing that kind of wowed me when I when I took it out the packaging when it came from the eBay seller and it is it's just so clear and concise the information is just displayed in such a clear way that it really does add to the ease of being able to tell the time read the date at a very quick glance now I like the typefaces that you used on this watch they're very legible obviously you got your dot matrix type at the top because this this element of the display does a bit more than just mention what day of the week it is there is a few other things that this does which you'll see later on in the video as I go through the functions of this watch but for me uh, what I like about it is that as I say the 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 top typefaces used are a bit more clearer than you would get and also it is just literally uh, what would be the date here or the day of the week the time and the date really there's nothing more no boxes no anything it is just simple three lines of information and obviously you do have your little graphic display here at the top which in this case will be measuring the seconds as they elapse but it also indicates when you are walking when you, if you've got it in the step tracking or when you're showing the actual steps that you're doing or it'll it will spin up when you're doing um, the stopwatch or countdown when you're doing the timer so there's a little bit more to that little circular graphic but again, as I say, uh, it is so legible to read. And for people who haven't got 2020 vision, like myself, wears glasses and they are very focals, it's just such a great, easy watch to, to read. And that's what I really do love about this watch. Now, I do have two little niggles about just the display of this watch, and they are minor, really. Now, at the bottom, I wish that Casio would allow you to change it so it reads day of the month, the month and the year now obviously it's the other way around so it is easy to get used to but i just wish they'd give you that option the other niggle that i will mention is clear display crisp easy to read but when you put it at a real angle it becomes a little bit harder to read i mean as you can see it it is just a little bit of a shortfall in this aspect you do see all the digital elements now again it's yeah it is you can see i mean it's a, the camera is picking it up a little bit more than in real life but it is it can be quite hard to read now funny enough at that angle very easy still a bit easy to read but it does start to disappear when i turn the watch and obviously if you've got it on your wrist and you just want to have a quick glance you know a cheeky glance if you're in a meeting just to see how long the meeting's going on for it can be a little bit hard you do have to just tip the watch a little bit but again just a minor gripe really of this watch because there's just so much to this watch to really like now the other thing to mention is that this watch does have 
a light function here which is at the top right I'm just going to move it over to the left so you can see it working there and as you can see the LED it does have a singular orange LED but what I am showing you to the right is how it looks in darkness and what be semi darkness and as you can see it really does illuminate or backlight this display it's not electroluminescence as I say it's just one simple LED but it is a bright LED that works really well on this display now the other thing to mention about the light function as well this one has a one and a half second but you can change that to a three second delay which really does allow you to just you know press the button and see the time without having to keep your finger on the light button just to get an understanding of what the time is during uh, like the early hours of the morning really moving on from the physicality of the casio ws2100 let's look a little closer at the module features that are built in to this watch first of all let's mention the smaller features of this watch because obviously there's a lot more going on with this watch when you start to go through the modes etc this watch can easily display the time in 12 and 24 hour formats it also features an automatic calendar where once set by the watch owner it can take into account leap years so it should in theory always display the correct date it also has a mute function which can mute the button presses to make this watch super quiet to operate now let's move on to the next one which is the, a bit more of a feature now I will talk about the step tracking function later on and um, but I'll just go through some of the other features first of this watch now it does have a stopwatch where the measure let me just kick it off where the measuring capacity is up to 24 hours and the modes of measuring time it does an elapsed time as you can see here a split time and it also has a first and second place time so if I just stop that and clear that um, now the measuring unit is a hundredth of a second for the first 60 minutes and then it measures time in a second intervals after 60 seconds has elapsed now this watch also features a lap memory now the other the one thing I forgot to show you was that it also features what would be the local time or the time that you have on the main timekeeping mode it features it at the bottom which is also very handy now it will have it does have a lap memory which you can go through and see what how many laps you've done or the timing in which you've done the la or the time in which you've done the laps in and it does go up to 200 entries which is absolute bonkers really the next thing it does actually do is a timer now the measuring unit on the timer is a second and it will count down from 60 minutes if you set it for that but the time setting range is from one second up to 60 minutes and as you can see I mean I didn't show you on the you probably seen it on the stopwatch I didn't really highlight it to be honest is that you can see it does count down the seconds in the little graphic display to the top right hand corner now it will also beep 10 seconds before the timer is up so you do know that the time is going to start to elapse when you start to hear the beeps now the next mode is dual time now dual time it allows you to simultaneously feature two separate times now as you can see it's ideal for if you if you're a traveler and you travel to New York or Bain or anywhere like that where the time is either forward or backward now in this instance I think it's about three hours ahead so it'd be more towards uh, European countries and as you can see it's, it's easily set you just can adjust it yourself keep your finger on that and then you can start to adjust the time as required in the country that you either you're heading to or loved ones or business associates that you are dealing with around the world the other thing this watch has it has five alarms which you can cycle between as you can see here and it also has a hourly signal again very handy and this the alarm tone will sound for 10 seconds when activated now what I'm going to talk about and it's a little I'm going to go a little bit more in depth because I've never really featured a watch like this is the step counter on this watch now the main thing to talk about with this watch is the step tracker as is advertised at the top part of the case here on this Casio watch and it isn't a mode per se it is just something that is measured as you're going about your daily life really and it is something that it, 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 the watch will measure it as you are moving so if you are walking about uh, or doing a walk or anything like that then it will start to track the steps that you are undertaking now you can see how the steps have been undertaken by just pressing that bottom right hand button there and I believe you can cycle through the amount of steps now that is uh, I, I did that I did that amount of steps on a little mile walk if I just go back here um, you can see it was done um, on the 8th where I, I did a mile walk just to see how these steps are measured and stuff and I, I will be starting to show you a video of that walk so you can see how it works but as long as you are wearing this watch 
comfortably on your wrist and it isn't loose then it will start to measure the steps as you as soon as you start to walk about really now what i will say it's not 100 percent accurate and that's cassio even say that in their instructions you know it is i would take it as a guide to the amount of movement you have undertaken within a day now as i've said to see how many steps you have undertaken you just press this and, and then you can just cycle through the amount of steps you have done in the past couple of days by pressing that now what you will notice if i just go back to there you will notice that at the top and you'll see it more in a walking video that i'm just going to show you very soon is that you see this little dot here now that starts to turn into more of a, a graph really now that graph will measure the amount of steps that you have undertaken each hour over seven hour periods but it only goes up to a thousand steps that it will measure so what you'll start to see and you will see it in the video that i'm going to show you very soon of me walking um is that it will start to peak as you are walking about using this watch and it is a great little function or a great little indicator of the amount of movement that you are undertaking within a seven hour period and also what you do have to the top right hand corner is this graphic here now this graphic will indicate how many steps you are doing to achieve your goal now you can set the amount of steps up to i believe i don't know it goes up something ridiculous nine nine hundred nine nine thousand nine hundred nine well nine hundred nine ninety nine thousand or something like that it really is quite a high number but if you say set it for ten thousand steps or eight thousand steps as you get closer to your step goal you will see that um that does start to fill up while you are featuring the amount of steps that you are doing. Now, I, had to, I did take it on a mile walk, and as you can see here, you can see how it is tracking the steps that you are doing and how the graphic indicator to the top right-hand corner is operating, you know, showing left to right, left to right. Now, obviously, it's not measuring left to right, left to right. It is just measuring the movement that the watch is undertaking. And also, what you see is the bar chart at the top that I have mentioned, um, measure or indicate the amount of steps you are doing within that given hour now as i say it's not accurate um but it does give you a, a fair indication of the amount of time that you, or the amount of steps you are doing within that time now i as well as um the measuring the steps just doing the general walk i also moved my arms in and didn't move my arms while i was walking and it was still measuring the steps and also i came to an abrupt stop just to see what would happen and obviously it just stopped as soon as i more or less stopped so it is it does it, it does rely on them sensors really well and finally what i also did i compared it to what is my series 3 apple watch as you can see here which i've got to be honest i haven't worn for about six to eight months now it's been quite a while really and what you can remember i mean it gives you an idea of how much the apple watch as a smartwatch measures your steps as well as how this watch measures your steps and what you got to remember this function is built into a watch that costs between 20 and 40 pound and it isn't a smartwatch and you will get it for that price depending on whether it is on offer and you know where you get it from really and i, got, I think i got this watch off ebay for 15 pound and overall i would say it is a great feature and well worth keeping in mind that while it won't be 100 percent accurate it is a great indicator for the amount of movement you undertake each day now what i'm going to do next i'm going to pop it on my wrist and say what it's like to wear now this is on my six and a half inch wrist and as you can see uh, I'll just take it back out of the steps mode and as you can see it is a bit chunky I'm not going to lie you do feel it here when, I mean it doesn't inhibit your hand movement I mean I'll probably have to just move it a little bit away um, but you do feel you can feel the um, pushes just push it just slightly move into the creases of your wrist here um, but again you do get used to it and as I said when I went on that mile walk just to test out the step function and I have worn it off and on on certain days and you do get used to that fact and the strap here as you can see I've got it on the um, what would be the third hole here but you've got such <laughs> you've got quite a room for maneuver so obviously if you've got a bigger wrist then it will work for larger wristed people and just as I say it is quite comfortable on the wrist and yeah you do as I've mentioned you do feel it knocking into your wrist or the creases of your wrist here but it, it, it is a watch that you do get used to in a fair, very short amount of time really and while you don't forget that you are wearing it you do still feel it on your wrist from time to time as I say it is a watch that you know that the reason why it's quite big is that it is measuring your steps really and it does eliminate that need for a pedometer just to affix to your body somewhere and putting it over like a 
like a, a hoodie and stuff like that yeah it will get caught on that or it will get caught on a shirt or something like that so it is a little bit of a chunky watch um compared to some of the watches i have featured but it does have that chunkiness for a purpose now again the display super easy to read and it just that's what i love about this watch as well as the step tracking feature if you are looking to be a bit more healthier and a bit more fitter it, it is that display that display is just brilliant and as i say i'm a very focal glasses wearer and it does help in the aid of just quickly glancing at the time again as long as you don't have it at that angle here but you have it at a more a more angle suitable for reading the time at it is it is super easy to read the time from and the overall look look of the watch it is a sporty looking watch the gray it does mute the overall look of this watch quite a bit which is quite nice really it's not shouty shouty watch that you can get from casio from time to time it is a nice muted watch now it will go with a lot of casual outfits i'm guessing but if you are looking to go for more posture events wear a suit or a, like a tux or something like that then you probably would wear a different watch to what this watch is now my final thoughts on this watch i would say i feel that the casio w2100h or ws2100h even is a great watch from casio amongst a lot of the functionality that this watch has to offer you can easily measure the steps and work towards a more healthier you but that aside if you're after a sporty watch that has a pedometer built in with a super clear display then you won't be disappointed with the Casio WS2100H. But ideally, it may be worth trying one on first for size, just to make sure that this size of watch isn't too much for your wrist. So I hope you liked the video from Weetra Anything regarding this watch. And if you did, then give it a cheeky like. Always helps the channel. If you want to see more videos from the Weetra Anything channel, then click on the subscription button below. If you want to find out more about this watch on the likes of Amazon, there will be an affiliate link to this watch and the other models that are featured below. And thank you for watching this video and we look forward to seeing you next time. Goodbye.